lovelies, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a little teapot terrarium just like this guy here. I think terrariums are really really great because the plants in them usually tend to be quite hardy so even if you have a bit of a black thumb usually, I think these are a really good way to bring some plants into your home. They tend to be quite low maintenance, they mostly look after themselves. This one isn't fully closed so it will need some little extra care but in general this should be pretty easy to care for. And it's just a cute little teapot full of green, which I think is adorable. So I will show you how I made this. Okay, so the things that we are going to need is a little glass teapot. They come in a lot of different sizes. I actually got one because I wanted it for flowering tea and this one was much smaller than I realized and I do want a bigger one for that purpose. So this little guy is gonna get a new life. And fun little fact about these little glass teapots, they usually come with a little sort of bit that goes in the middle that works as a strainer. And if you're doing this with your teapot, then you can actually use that as an extra little pot. So here is, here's what I made earlier. So yeah, I actually used the middle bit of this teapot and I put in some rocks and some soil and some moss and some plants that I just found outside because I can't leave the house now without just picking up random plants from cracks in the sidewalk. Um, so yeah, you can actually use the middle bit and it won't go to waste. You're also going to want some small rocks or some gravel or a mixture of the two. I have both here, but one or the other will probably do you. This gravel I have is probably a little bit fine to use on its own, so if you could get something a little bit bigger than this, it'll probably do you a bit better. You're gonna want some charcoal. You can get this really, really cheap online, and this is going to help kind of keep everything clean. You want some sort of mesh. I'm just going to cut a piece out of this little mesh bag that I have here, but there are lots of different options online. Uh, this is just something I had around the house. You're going to need some sort of soil. You can get that from outside if you want. You can get the rocks from outside as well. There's a lot of things you can just get from outside. Um, but I happen to have some so soil here, so I'm just going to use this. And then the only other thing that you really need is plants. So let's go get some of those. I am a big fan of just taking plants that you find out and about around in the world as you adventure. A lot of people say that they don't have any plants growing near them because they live in the city, but I can guarantee you if you're looking in all the little cracks and sidewalks and walls and everywhere, you will find some little plants growing. All of the plants in this right here were just growing on walls, in cracks, in the ground, in alleyways. There's always some sort of greenery. Plants always find a way. So if you're outside looking, you'd be surprised. So we're gonna go out now and get some stuff. So I ended up going for a nice little walk around the neighborhood, down some streets near me. I walked over to a park and just looked to see what I could find. Because the teapot's so small, I was limited. I had to get really tiny plants. So I went for mostly mosses and then a couple of other little things that I found out and about. Uh, but a lot of what I got was actually from alleyways. I didn't even get that much from the park, but there were some interesting things. So. I grabbed a few little bits and pieces for the teapot and I'm also going to show you a quick build of another terrarium after we've done the teapot. So let's get into that. So first of all I started adding my little rocks to the bottom of the teapot gently because this is glass so you don't want to just throw them in there. And so I just filled up the bottom little layer with a good layer of pebbles. And then I just added some of this gravel. This gravel is really teeny tiny, but it's just to add a bit more and then give it a shake. Next up, I grab my little mesh bag and I'm just going to cut a panel out of that real quick. And then basically just cutting a piece that is roughly the same size as the widest part of the teapot. It's a little bit hard to judge, but a little bit bigger is better than a little bit smaller. So, and you just pop that in on top. Next up, I added about a tablespoon of charcoal just to keep everything sort of clean down there. And after that, start adding the soil. You don't want to pack this down tightly. I'm just giving it a light little pat to sort of flatten it out and make it one even layer. But you definitely don't want to smoosh it down too much. Just give it a little bit of a pat so it's all nice and flat. And then the fun part is sorting out your plants. So I grabbed a whole bunch of different stuff, definitely mostly moss, but a few other little bits and pieces. You just want to make sure when you're getting moss that some of the dirt is still on the bottom and with other plants make sure you get some of their roots up or most of their roots up really <laughs> um, so that you can put them in. Things with shallow roots are best which is actually why it's almost better to get things from like sidewalks and stuff because they tend to have shallower root systems but just whatever you can find. And you just start arranging these however you like really. I find it's easier to put the sort of 
proper plants in first and then fill up the rest of the spaces with moss. Plus the moss helps to hold down any little sort of stray roots that are popping out, which is handy. So that's what I did here. And this was it roughly done, but then I did end up adding another little plant and some stones just as some decoration, which you can see right here. So this is my finished little teapot terrarium. And as an extra little bonus, here it is about a month and a half later, as you can see. We grew a little sprout out of the spot, which I think is so, so cute. Uh, the plants are leaning just because I had it turned the other way, so they've been leaning towards my window. But yeah, everything has been growing on its own. There's actually some little plants in there by the looks of it that we didn't even plant. It's just that they were in the soil already, so there's tiny little sprouts coming up for other things. And uh, yeah, overall, this little guy is doing super well. I love the spout sprout. And then here I am building the bigger one that I got some extra plants for. I'm not going to talk you through this too much because it's the same process as the last one. But uh, yeah, I had some extra stuff around so I decided to make a bigger one for the bedroom. And this is the completed piece. I really, really love how this turned out. So that is it for this video. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you'd like more videos like this. I actually have some ideas for some more fun style terrariums. So I would love to hear from you. Remember to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it so I know. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. And finally, if you could consider checking out my Patreon, I would love that. It really supports this channel and it lets me do more and experiment with more types of videos. So that would be awesome. The link is in the description. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye lovelies.